Hello everyone, this is Michelle Patterson with Angel Souls and these are your September 2015 Angel Oracle Card Readings. For this month I am going to be using the Archangel Oracle Cards by Doring Virtue and pulling a color card from the Secret Language of Color Oracle Cards deck by Anna Seagal. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com, the services page, Please pay attention to the wait time and the instructions. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, I will put all of that information down below. And one final thing before we get going here, I am writing the angel scopes thus far <laughs> for Silent Voices Magazine. So you might want to get on over there and just check that out as well. Treat it as a little bit of additional information for you for each month. All right, so let's get to it. Hi Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you for September. 2015. I'm, you know, I'm kind of tuning into each sign, but I definitely feel like there's sort of like a uh, <laughs> coming up for September. Now, everyone's situation is going to be different. <laughs> Someone's going to write to me and be like, "No, nah, I, you know, September is when stuff really started happening for me." That might just be your own personal journey and your personal choices that are affecting that energy. But overall, there's kind of a I wouldn't say it's relaxing. I, it's going to be less hectic than the first half of the year has been so far. Okay. You're not going to be the same person. Because big stuff happened for you in August. Yeah. This is a time of transmutation. Transformation. And it's you getting to know yourself in this brand new energy and in this brand new frequency. So let's get into this a little bit. If you are somebody who has never experienced ascension symptoms, don't get hung up on that because I get all kinds of things like, what are ascension symptoms? Like, could it be this? Could it be this? Could it be this? My toe hurts. Could that be an ascension symptom? <laughs> You'll know. You'll just kind of know. It's, it's when you have this inexplicable pain and you go to the doctor and they can't find anything wrong. I mean, you know, keep, keep looking. It might actually be a physical thing that's going on. But like if you get headaches or your sleep patterns are getting messed up or I don't know, tooth pain. I had tooth pain. And then I go to my dentist and he takes x-rays and like there was nothing wrong. So just things like that. But this is all a part of you like shaking out of an old energy and coming into a new way of being. And for some of you who were not afraid, you are fully stepping into who you came here to be. This is especially for the older viewers out there. What does that mean? Older? How to define older? I ain't define it. I am not getting myself in trouble. <laughs> you decide if you've had enough life experience or not. All right. But um, but I do have this, and the reason why I say older is because I, there's this wisdom, there's this maturity behind this. So you guys are probably going to be the ones who are seeing this in the biggest way. All right. So the first card up we have is chakra clearing. It's Archangel Metatron and he says call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. It's going to take you guys got to be a little more mindful this month about keeping things cleansed and cleared because you do not want to go back to the old way of doing things. That old you isn't there anymore and for some of you there might be a bit of a mourning for that because you're so accustomed to just hanging on to the way things used to be that when you're forced forward it can really get you rattled, get you really freaked out, okay? So cleanse and clear, keep it going. Metatron says, I'm here to put my hand on your back and hold you up and, and make sure that you keep moving that way instead of trying to look backwards, okay? The next card we have is teaching and learning. We have Zodkiel. So Zodkiel, again, all about transmutation. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. You are learning a lot. And like I said, it's it's a very individual, personal kind of thing. You are learning how strong you are. You are learning what you like. You are learning who you are now. Did I say that already? <laughs> it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Because guess what? You're going to be an example to others. And that's what it feels like. For some of you, you might want to take this very literally and be like, oh, I knew I was supposed to be a spiritual teacher. I would really love for everybody to let that go. Ooh, what? Ah, ah, here come the torches. Um, yeah, stop it. <laughs> That's what I mean. Because we can all, we all have something to teach. Do you know what I mean? We all have our experiences and we don't have to be out there being a formal teacher in order to teach. You can teach by your very example and it doesn't even have to have a word come out of your mouth. You just be. 
and you're showing others how to be. That's what the message feels like. All right. Now, as you're getting all crazy, right? Because, oh, what are all these new things? Uh, I'm, I'm right there with you guys, okay? We have our boy Raphael in here, and he says, breathe. Just, just take a check and breathe. It's going to be all right. We know this is a whole new way of being. It's a whole new world that is breaking open. Things are not going by the same old rules. They are not. And we don't know what the rules are because we don't really get what's happening <laughs> just yet. We will in good time and when it's the right time. Okay, so it says take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. Yes. And this is also about being very mindful about your physical bodies. This is where you're going to start seeing some effects. It's been, for some of us, a really stressful, tumultuous time. Uh, maybe fun, maybe fun, but still, I feel like a lot of us haven't been taking care of our bodies or, you know, just not being mindful of what we need. G get a little refresh in September because we have the victory card. This is your outcome card, let's call it, for the month. I don't typically read that way. I just kind of read it as a, the, all of the messages together. This feels like, here you go. Here, here's what happens. Victory, Archangel Sandalfin. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. It's happening, guys. It is no mistake that you incarnated with this particular blueprint and this particular energy and the tools at your disposal. Now you're going to learn how to use them. Now you're opening up and now you're having these epiphanies. Now it's making sense. And Sandalfin can be in here to help you feel grounded and, you know, to feel mm -hmm, balanced between your lower chakras and your upper chakras. Peaceful, gentleness. And then we have Raphael in here as well saying, breathe. It's all good. This might even be like, <laughs> you're getting really wound up over the victory, right? And they're like, okay, okay, don't, don't run away just yet, okay? We still have to work out a few things before you can uh, fully move forward. All right, so your color card for this month, I love this card. I love all of these cards, right? Magenta. All right, connect your deepest inner knowing. Ooh, it's gonna be powerful. The number is five, and five is transformation, guys. There it is. Your turn. And a lot of people love to assign like a negative connotation to the number five. I'm like, but why? <laughs> like, I love growing and changing and whatever. It can be uncomfortable. It's a little stressful sometimes, but it doesn't have to be. It's a beautiful gift. All right. And again, what are you guys showing me? Inner knowing, trusting that inner knowing because it's going to be lit up. It's going to be ignited. And it, they're telling me it's a beautiful gift of discovery on a spiritual level for each one of you so a beautiful personal gift is coming to you and if you sat there and said oh yes i want to get that job yes this guy's going to tell me that he loves me okay maybe um but i think i think they're giving you a bigger gift than that <laughs> it's it's like soul level gift all right so make sure you're tuned in so that you can see it all right have a great month guys i love you and take care